Hey everybody, it's BC here, and welcome to another episode of Evil Space. And I've been uh, keeping an eye on things here, and they seem to be somewhat okay. These things could be running a little more than what I would like. I've thought about actually expanding this and doubling it up, but this seems to be okay. Uh, what I want to do is I want to start utilizing this creosote. And it is slowly building up. Uh, it's actually building up quite a bit, considering how many of these containers I have. Uh, I've been not dumping them, trying to save it for the time being. And so far, everything is doing good. We haven't any slowdowns, or it's been running along pretty good. But uh, what I want to do is I actually want to make use of that uh, creosote over there. At the same time, too, I want to start going, get into some proper steel production. Uh, we will start have to make uh, start have to making. Uh, oh, we need coal dust for that. Hang on a second. I'm sorry, I had to check the recipe. It's actually coke dust we need. I go to the recipe is steel plate or a tube, steel plate, steel ingot, and then we use, no, not in there, in the arc furnace, we use a cast iron ingot, which we make in the alloy smelter, which is iron dust, which we've got right here, and coke dust, which we're making over there. Now, in order for that to produce enough to keep this going and this going, I do want to switch a few things over to, well, I don't know if that's going to be enough now. I uh, think about it. I know it's sort of all over the place, but we have the creosote. I want to do have four of these fluid furnaces I want to utilize. Uh, one of them is definitely going to go here and here. And then there's going to be one more that's going to be fueling the alloy smelter here. So I might actually have to expand that. I'm not too sure. I can just harvest a whole ton of trees and go from there. So let's see. So if we got that there, we got to get the car coal dust coke dust actually what we should do is get these furnaces replaced all right because i believe yes they're out of fuel now unfortunately going to going to um, a fluid furnace it's not going to give us any ash output which actually comes in really handy because we're going to use that for carbon which we're going to need for the next step and i'm hoping i can get to it today and that is going to be uh, aluminum. Now, aluminum is a, a couple of different steps. Uh, we got fluid coming in there. Uh, what is this? That's steam. That's why I made the, all, all the steel pipes. I think. Uh, we're gonna have to go to the arm. I think. We have to do that. Yeah, because uh, the copper and the iron will not, or copper and the steel will not connect. So if I do something like this, go like that, and then get down here somewhere. I'm starting to love this jetpack. Whoa, that's a high jump. Completely random sometimes. Okay, where was that hole? Uh, okay, there's a the fluid furnace there. So there's the pipe. Now, if I do that, it will not connect with a copper pipe of wood. And I did not want to go there. I want to go... we got to get to the creosote. But anyway, so I got that one going there. I'm going to do the same thing with this one here. Take that out. Uh, what do we have here? I'm going to have to go under the arm while we're at it. Try to keep things neat up there. So, and like that, and then I gotta join these up, so we're obviously gonna have to come down one more, looks like I might have to do a little bit of landscaping, we'll see. And, so those two are connected, now I just gotta get these hooked up to the creosote, and we're good to go. Okay, so I'm up at the creosote now. Now, here's the thing about having different pipes, is, uh... Not only do they stop from connecting to each other, but you can have them basically labeled. So now I know that the steel line is going to be the creosote. So now what I have to do is I have to actually connect this all the way back to the other end. And I hope I have enough pipes for this. See how far that is. This might be a way. It's right here. Hmm. That's not too far, actually. Go here and then we just go ahead and spam along. 
fill in the holes wherever we miss, like so. That was not the right spot. And clearly I don't have enough. Well, let me get this done and I'll bring it back. Okay. It's, it's all set up. So now the question is, do the furnace is actually running? Uh, up we go. Ooh, that's a high one. Uh, there we go. And for what I've seen, the crew so it actually produces a fair amount of heat, so it's definitely a good one. So that one's running, and this one's not running because I've got to put the furnace in. <laughs> okay, let's uh, drop down. Yeah, it happens to all of us. Okay, drop that down. We take this, and okay, in case. If you get confused, uh, when you rotate it always goes clockwise or counterclockwise. You can see by the element that's up on the bottom there. It always does that. If you hold shift and control then you start losing where you're going so I try not to do that. Alright, so that is good. So now let's go back up and see how that crew is still holding up because the furnaces should be running. Ugh. Because I'd like to get an idea of how many furnaces I have running off of it. And that, when, you're, when they're all connected, they all act as one tank. So we're at 9.2 right now. Alright, while that's doing that, let's see if we can uh, start getting the, the steel production going. Whoa! Take that jetpack off. <laughs> I always see that. Alright, so we, we have the, the iron here. Do I have any robots? Uh, no, I don't. What do I need to make them? I think I'm out of steel. I got the copper going. I've used up all the steel I had. I've, unless I've misplaced it somewhere, I have no idea. I've got such terrible organization right now. Mind you, I have made a lot of stuff. What's that? Iron. Yeah, it looks like I'm going to have to make a quick batch of steel here. Should have some coal, coal clean around. Alright, uh, show you how we're doing, if I haven't shown you before, I'll show you how we're doing the furnace. I got components, I don't have any plates though. We made a whole bunch of pipes. Alright, well we're going to make some iron, so, uh, let's see if I have any coal coke laying around here. Or, yeah. I call it coal coke, they call it coke dust, the same thing. Uh, I think there's nine in there already. Uh, first thing I'm doing when I get into aluminum stage is make, making the, the bigger containers. Uh, what's that? Stone dust, no. Alright, that's fine. Let's put... Uh, oh, I had iron dust in there. Alright, I'll take care of that. I had some cast iron ingots too. I'll throw them in the arc first and I'll bring you back. Okay, I am back. And as you can see, I moved the arc furnace over here. I was uh, getting some steel going while while I was waiting because I need to make some plates because I have the, the parts, but I don't have the plates. Go figure. Where did they go? Steel. Steel and iron look so similar in this pack. So anyways, we have the, the coal, uh, iron here. So what we're going to have to do is rotate that. And so it will still, still be able to take out there. So what I need to do is I need to get the alloy smelter. We'll grab that. Trying to walk and change your hotbar at the same time is not fun. Mind you, I could be just using hotkeys, but I don't do that. Now, we also do need a fuel source for this, or a heat source. So, that's where another fuel fur furnace comes in handy. Now, it doesn't really matter where you place it. You only need one of them, even though it takes up three blocks. Uh, we're not going to need copper pipes. We are going to need some more steel pipes. So I'm going to do it like this. So as you can see, that's loading iron up. Now, I want to lock that because I want to put that in there. So this way, if I run out of one thing, that the arm's not going to load up both slots with, with iron. And so on. So on. i got to admit, those are fast. I can't wait to see the higher tiers. Like, we get up and do the stainless steel arms. Like, how fast those things would be. Stainless steel is a pain. Uh, I'm just warning you right now. Uh, even getting into aluminum things, you're gonna get into a headache. This is nothing. So that's that. 
So let's uh, go and take that out and see if we can get the furnace in here. Uh, now, where do I want the intake? I have no idea where it is. <laughs> uh, let's do it this way. We gotta be down here anyway, so it just happens to be above the hole. Lovely. Yeah. Uh, you may not think digging a hole under your, your area is a bad thing, but... Uh, that's not a furnace. Until you actually have to work underneath it. So that's there, and there, and that way. So in that way I can just take that out. And at least the pipe's hidden underneath there. Uh, so I gotta get this connected to that line, which is actually fairly close. Uh, I didn't grab those things, thingamabobbers here. Uh, the plates out of the hammer. Wow. I really do have to make a steel one, see how good that is. Let's actually see what we need to make it. Uh, there we go, steel. A flashlight? Oh, wow. Uh, what, is there only one jetpack? Oh, the next one is up at there. I've never seen the flashlight before. Those steel lights are coming handy. A battery? Oh, wow. That better be like a permanent thing. Anyway, uh, where am I here? Uh... Hello, oh, smell there. Yes. Alright, so pipe is there. I gotta get more pipes, that's what I was gonna do. And we do this. Where are they here? Pipe. Make 15, because we're gonna need a lot of them eventually. If I have enough, if there's enough creosote going through the system, and right now it's actually building up, so that's good. But if there's enough, I wanna try to get two of the boiler furnaces on the fluid as well. Now there's other different types of f fuel we can make use on these. As you can see we can use crude so which we're using it's 10 heat for every 20 seconds. Uh, there's methane which gives us double the heat in the same amount of time which is what I'd like to get into and then there's also hydrogen. Now methane uh, you have to make in a fermenter which is aluminum tier first. And for that, you need biomass or pumpkins. Now, pumpkins, we can harvest pumpkins. Not a, that's not a problem, but it does use a little bit of electricity. It's not much. And those just come from the pumpkin farm. So that's something we could do, but that's still aluminum. So there's that. And then we get into the methane. And the methane, again, we can use in the fluid furnace. It generates a lot of heat. But uh, that we have to go through, again, the, the, oh, sorry, hydrogen. Yeah, the methane goes through a, an electrolyzer to get us hydrogen. And hydrogen is, a, as you can see, it's burnt, long burn time with the same amount of heat. So that's probably the alt optimal for the fluid furnaces, but it's a lot of steps. So where are my pipes? There they are. I made more than one. So we just get this hooked up. And... And I've been thinking about how I want to set everything up, and I think I might just stay one level, just expand. And uh, we may end up changing the floor out, uh, probably the next expansion. I'm going to start using that terracotta because I got so much of it. Oh, not quite enough. Okay, there we go. All right, so uh, that is generating heat. That is producing steel or cast iron. So now we're going to pick this up, and then we're going to place. Another robotic arm here. Actually, I think I need to make this a filtering one. Because it might start pulling other stuff out. We'll see what happens. Alright, and the arc furnace. And the arc furnace. Okay. Where is the power? Okay. So that should be good. And good, it's taking the cast iron out. Great, so I, I guess it only takes from the output. And you know what? Just because... I want to have it actually feeding right into it. Okay, let's see if we can find that power again. Rotate it once. And we'll go into that block there. 
Sure, that works. Is it a one by two? Gotta check this here. One, two. Okay. Ah, that is a one by two. Okay. That doesn't matter. Now we take one more arm. We place it here. And... And grab those shelves again. Like so. Now I'll load up steel in that. And then the fun part. Now we get back into the hammer. Now I do have a hammer here. Let's see. Guess it doesn't really matter because I'm using a robot. So we'll do a hammer there. This could be a long line. I still gotta get the coke into this too. Okay, uh, I gotta make some more robots. What do I need for robots? I need more plates. Oh, our plates are gonna be made by me. In fact, I do have a hammer here, so we are good to go. Oh, yeah, I gotta get that. Get that in here. Oh, not in there. That in here. And we're almost got iron produ or steel produced. We've got the iron being going through, and this, this one shelf, as you can see, holds 2,000. This is just a steel in there. I think every tier actually has a shelf. Yeah, right there. And I have absolutely no idea how much that one holds. That's hard metal. That's a long ways away. Like even titanium. I haven't I mean, looked into titanium yet. Alright, so that is... Take that out. So what was I making? I was making a couple more arms. Let's get off of the, the headache there. We'll deal with that in a minute. Alright, I'm going to go out here. Let's see. So that's going to be a hammer. Give me another arm, and then it's going to go into another shelf. Actually, no, it's not. Because now it's going to go into conveyor and a splitter. So, conveyor. And then we're going to place a splitter down. Where is that arrow? There's no arrow because that's not a splitter, and that's not going to place it there. Damn it. I kind of do want to have robots everywhere, or robotic arms. So I'll leave a gap there so I can place the conveyor down. And uh, yeah, I'm going to have to meet you uh, again in a moment or two once I get everything crafted here. Okay, so I have made a few more plates, so I've got to go ahead and make those robotic arms. I have expanded the platform a little bit. And that's just to get some sort of space going. Okay, what am I gonna need here? I, we gotta get. We gotta have one more conveyor. That's not the conveyor I wanna use. I wanna go all steel on this just because. Uh, that's still gotta craft up. Let's check, see how everything's going. I forgot I had a steel cast iron on me, so. I uh, put that in the arc furnace. Got that going through. Uh, actually, it was feeding in from here. Uh, what you can do, where is it? Uh, I had cast iron on me. Yeah, I had like 12 ingots and I went and dropped them in. Oh yeah, yeah. You can actually put stuff in the output here on any machine and the robot will take it out if you have extra on you and you want to get it into the system. If you got room in the output, you can put it in there. So. Uh, that works. Uh, what was I waiting on? Oh, yeah, the arms. That's what I'm waiting on, wasn't I? I'm waiting on pipes. Yeah, I made a whole bunch of pipes, too, just because. So if I craft them, we'll cancel that. I don't know what I need the plates for. Okay, sorry. Lost to, lost to what was going on in my, in my stuff, so we switch that around, and like that. And then we are making conveyors. We should have some conveyors. I might have to make a few more. Uh, like so, and then we're going to have the macerator. Which means I need more plates. Uh, give me give me a second. I, I wasn't prepared. I should be. That's a long line. Okay. So now I have... Let's make a few more conveyors. 
pick two will be good. Actually, one more. We'll make three. Okay, and uh, I also realized I forgot to hook up those furnaces to the actual fuel supply, so they weren't actually cooking properly. Well, they were, but it would run out eventually. Oh yeah, the shell. Actually, we want the cutting machine first. So let's see, where is the input? That's the out. So the input's not supposed to be there. Oh, I swear to God, I know what I'm doing. Okay, there, and... Show me the conveyors. One there, one there, and one there, followed by... Shelf. And, of course, I hit the wrong spot. There we go. So now all I have to do is get another steam motor on here, which I should have. I do. Go ahead and place that on here. Like so. Oh yeah, our steam hammer or steam there, and everything's good to go. So I do have a whole bunch of pipe made. Now I get everything hooked up. Now I think I might actually go underneath with these pipes just because we don't need to have exposed piping anywhere. So I'm going to take care of this off camera and I'll bring you back when this is all done. And by the sounds of hammering, I'd say we're good to go. And I had a ceiling above me. Oops. I did do a little bit of expansion. I didn't do it in the terracotta because, well, whatever. I had brick on me. I started with brick, so I did it that way. So now we have steel automated. Let's wait for the first place to go through. That's going to go on here and create us steel parts. Cool. Then the other conveyor will go there and create us plates, which we already have. So now we have this end taken care of. Now we got to get the coke into, this, into the system. So what I've thought about, and I, that's how, the, how I found out about down here, is I'm almost wondering if, we take, if I take the chance to just branch off of this one line. Just because there is a bit of a backlog. It seems to be holding up, but... It really all depends on how those coke ovens hold up. But I think we're going to try that. Now, it's not going to take a whole lot, so I can go with the con copper conveyors. So let's go back up top here. Oh. Okay, and let's um, put a hole. Uh, how do I do want to do this? Because I have to put it in with a robot. Oh, shit. <laughs> it's the rug machine. What I could do... Do it this way. Put the junction here. Do I have a box on me? No, I don't. Actually, I could use this. Go ahead and use the, the buffer chest. Because I think, I think the robot can handle this one. Doesn't really matter how I do it. And I need another helper. I'll make just one for now. Alright, so now we can go back down here. At least I know where it is now. We can just go ahead and hook up hopefully one junction to it. No, it's gonna be two. So we'll go up. That's not it. Go over here. I really should fill in that hole. I might have to go down there eventually start getting into uh, gold and titanium. Okay, let's see here. Ah, that was off. That's uh, okay. Not the end of the world. Don't want to lose it though. So I gotta go down here anyways. You know, when I, when I first caught this steam jetpack, I thought you actually had to fill it up with steam somehow. Okay, so we have uh, in on the red, or actually... Uh, I'm lost. What are we doing here? Oh yeah, okay, that's going to there. So, I want the out on the yellow. Okay, and then in is going to be on the green. Ow, right in the face. So there we go. So that is coming out. That's going to feed, should feed right into the alloy smelter. We'll go up there in a second here and check it out. Okay, that's going, nope, no, no, no. It's got to go out to blue. 
and then this is going to be in, and then it should be out to pink. Nope. Actually, I got that box right on top, don't I? Okay, let's go see if I got that right. The only thing I don't like is you can't run in this game. I always, I always forget and I always try to hold shift anyways. Okay, perfect. So now, we can get our robotic friend here, which requires absolutely no power. Oh, you won't go there. Hmm. Yeah, it counts that as a block. Or part of the alloy smelter. That's no problem. This means we have to move it over here. Um, oh, I do have bricks on me. Good. Brick there. Uh, conveyor junction there. Then we need... Oh, I think we have to put the robot uh, arm over here then. Because I don't think that's going to count going to the block. Eh, we'll put it over here for now. Just because. Actually, not there. Not that one. There. Then I can put the arm here. Like so. We need... I'm going to use the steel one because it has two slots on it. Doesn't really matter where the arrow actually goes on that. Okay, so where was I here? I was over there. Uh, let's do it this way. Let's do that. Jump over here. I'm going to take this one out. I'm just going to move it back one. There. Okay, out on the yellow and in on the green. Now that should be working. Actually, I gotta do the bottom here too. Before I forget, just so I don't have to come back down here again. Okay, so no, I want you out. You in. And you should be reaching there eventually. Oh, wait, I put the arm down already, so it's probably already pulled it out. That's what I'm hoping, anyways. Oh, look at that. Automated steel. Awesome. Cool. So that is that part done. Let's go check on the previous situation. The tanks were full, so I uh, closed it off, started dumping it. And, yeah, we're starting to go down a little bit. But that's fine. We do have a bit of a buffer. I can always add more tanks there. It's not that big of a deal. Um, but that means that we've got more than enough crew so to probably even get a couple more generators going because that's been running for a while just on that. But now we have automated steel, we have automated iron, uh, copper, and semi automated power. Kind of worried about the coke situation, how it's going to hold up though. We're already starting to die down on this one here. Might have to start making some more coal, uh, coke dust pretty soon. Uh, let me check the recording time here. Okay, well, I think I'm going to call this one here. This was a little more than what I thought, but as you can see, it was, let's go up on the coke ovens here. Get a good look at it. I'm almost thinking about getting more bamboo going, just to keep these going. Look at that. It's like a train from start to finish. Quite a ways. Oh, it's too far of a jump. That is something. But next we're going to be getting into aluminum, and then we're going to, and we're going to do that next episode, but I'll show you what's evolved here. So we go into aluminum. Aluminum ingot is either aluminum carbide dust or aluminum dust, which we get from grinding that. But, or a carbide ingot, which is what we're going to make. And the carbide ingot used by aluminum oxide dust and carbon dust in an alloy smelter. 
Now we can make it in the one that we have. We can, we'll have to make another one, obviously. Now carbon dust we'll be able to do because we're producing ash with the the, the furnaces and the ash run through an electrolyzer. We get you one carbon. Two two ash to one carbon. We can also do coal dust carbon. Coal dust just means more bamboo going, but we got the ash building up, so we might as well use that. It's not like we're gonna need a ton of iron, but at least it's there. And so yeah, that is for the carbon dust. Now if we go back to the recipe here for the aluminum oxide. Now this is where things start getting a little challenging because it's actually a solid fuel. Or it's actually uh, a byproduct of a solid fuel. We gotta make aluminum thermic magne manganese dust, which produces ten heat in ten seconds, which is not too bad. Uh, which is aluminum gives us aluminum oxide dust, which you need for the aluminum, and then mag manganese, but magne yeah, manganese dust, which I have no idea what we use it for. Uh, uses ingots, ingots. Okay, that gets into titanium. We'll have to probably figure that one out later. But yeah, then uh, to make the this dust or this fuel, we need to make a mixer. And then we need manganese. Manganese oxide dust. Well, they changed the recipe. And aluminum dust. And aluminum dust is. Hang on, I think I've gone the wrong way here. Hang on. Nope, I'm sorry. We actually need this stuff here. Because uh, we need the aluminum. This is the fuel we need. Uh, this still gives us the aluminum oxide dust. And we also get chrome dust. We need to make aluminum. Aluminum thermic chrome dust which is chrome oxide dust I'm sorry I'm lost here okay how many pe pe people actually noticed it I was looking at the wrong recipe I didn't want the, the fuel yet I want to go to the, the separator the separator would take just basically the aluminum that we grind. You know, we pull and process that, process that like we do with the. Uh, you can run that through the macerator. We can run the wash gravel and all that stuff. So we'll be setting up another line for this for the, the doubling and all that. But we basically take the the, the dust before it's smelted. We run it through a steel separator. It gets us aluminum oxide dust and tungsten oxide dust. We'll need that down the road eventually for. I think that's a hard metal, I'm not sure. But then the aluminum oxide dust is what we uh, actually need for to make aluminum. So basically we just need to build a separator and then an electrolyzer. I, th I think I have an electrolyzer set up, but yeah, basically we gotta do two steps for that and then run the result of that product through an alloy furnace and that's how we get aluminum, but we'll figure that one out on the next episode. But anyways, uh, thank you all so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed. If you did, leave me a like. And as always, I'll see you in the next one. Later.